Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil, where of course every day is a... Pizza! Pizza? Yeah, it's a pizza show. Pepperoni with the onions and You're a little hungry, bacon. You're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, on this show, every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of stuff that hopefully we'll be chugging along down your line. And we're going to get started with some Walther's Articulated Well Cars here. Uh, these are the 53 footers. Check these out here. Now, I have a couple of different variations here and a bunch of striking colors. Here's a yellow one. And here's a brown one. And that's it. Hey, guess what? What you got for me? Here's another brown one. It's another brown one, but, you, and, but it's different, though. And, and another yellow. And then you got a different brown one, got a different <laughs> row name, row number. That's true. But, you know, the neat thing about these cars here is you can have the individual wall cars here, but these are the articulated ones here. Uh, so I guess that means they speak really well. Hey, Engineer Hall? They're very articulated. That's right. Now, the neat thing about these, if you take a look here, I'm going to show you how you put these cars together here. So as you can see, I have a little nub there. I put this one here at the middle. And then the same thing happens here. And the neat thing about these cars is, guess what, Engineer? Tell me about it. They're made of metal. Oh, die-cast metal, that's yeah. That's right. I like having die-cast metal cars here. I don't need to weigh them down. But, of course, if you wanted to put some containers in there, you absolutely could. These are really neat wild cars here. We've seen a whole bunch of wild cars over the last several shows that we have done. But I really like these. I like nice, high-quality cars. And Walter does a fantastic job. Now, the retail value. All these wild cars are $99.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $84.95. So it's a great deal to get on these cars here. I really enjoy them. And to give you a little extra bonus, all right, I asked our friend Christian to do a little research and what on do? these cars. And what do you come up with? to give it a little bit more, you know, because you see them, but you might not want to know a little bit about the history or something like that. So uh, Christian told me <clears throat> that... Well, cars are a warm greeting, making someone feel comfortable or at home. I'm sorry, that, that doesn't sound right. I think he looked up the word welcome. Welcome. Oh, well, well, it's the effort that counts, all right? So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these welcome cars. Rolling well, under, cars. Well, see, I'm now see. I'm doing it. Get rolling today. We got a new locomotive here from Lionel, and these are 44 tonners, the Line Chief series. Check out these engines here. I think you're going to enjoy them. These are the Line Chief engines here. Now, these are based off of the old post war design here. So, I have a Pennsylvania engine, and I have here an Amtrak engine. These are really neat looking engines here. If you want an engine that is going to be a good runner, these do have nice can uh, motors inside of it so they roll pretty nicely they have a nice illumination here they have all the various sound effects here you know what i like to do i like the run engine so let's get her fired up so i can run this engine with the remote control which is included inside of the uh, box or i can run it with my phone and since we are in the whatever century we are let's run it with our phone so i got the app right here gotta locate my engine right there i see the Amtrak right there connect it and there we go All right, let's take a listen to the bell. Ooh, I like that bell. Horn. Let's hear some uh, crew talk. This is the tower. Please start up and stand by. Over. Yes, sir. Start up and stand by. Out. Let's fire up. Just prototypical, right, Engineer Hall? It's not different than what you do. All nope. right, all aboard. sound of diesel locomotive there it's a lot of fun it pulls a lot of cars as you can see here so i think you need it on your lap 
Now the retail value of this diesel locomotive is $249.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Diablo for $225.99. So it's a cool deal to get on a nice engine. I have both the Pensy and the Amtrak. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on in and get that 44 tonner. And to give you a little added bonus, Christian told me that a 44 tonner diesel locomotive is heavy. Not really giving me a lot there. No, definitely not. No. I think he just looked up ton. Yeah, yeah. about 2,000 oh. pounds. Yeah. Come get it today. So we saw O scale diesel. Let's go to the other side. We're going to go to the small ones. We're going to take a look at N scale. Oh, we got another diesel, you said, Engineer Hall? You know, we going from high to low very quickly. There's no in-between here. Although I would think probably the N-Scalers would say there's as far superior than the O-Scalers. Maybe we'll start a scale war. Ooh. Ooh, there's a show idea. Yankee Dabbler, scale war. Oh, yeah, get it. Oh, summer blockbusters. Stay tuned. But let's check out these N-Scale FA Alcos, and I really like these engines here. The FAs have been one kind of my favorite uh, diesel locomotives here. I love the Alco design here. And I have the A versions here, and then I also have the ABA versions here. So you could get a B unit, you could get two A units, which have two different row numbers, and I could create an ABA consist. Now, these engines do have DCC, they do have ESU sound. They are really nice looking diesel locomotives here, and they are sharply detailed. If you want to model a specific era in railroading history when the Alcos reign supreme on the rails, I think you definitely need to get one of these, or maybe all of these, on your rails today. Now, as Christian was telling me about these Alcos, it is a type of dog food that is very... He looked up Alpo, didn't he? Yeah, that, it, it was going yeah. off the rails way too quickly. Oh, well, well, you know what's not going to go off the rails is these engines, so let's get them rolling and hear what they sound like. So let's get one of my favorite railroads, the New York Central, fired up and see what it sounds like. I always like the Alco design uh, sounds. They always sound like they're about to conk out at any moment. Here's the bell. Here's the horn. Now let's get it fired up. Let's highball it, shall we? Let's do it. That is a really cool looking diesel locomotive here. It's very sleek and elegant. I love that Alco look. Now the retail value of these engines is $249.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $169.99. I should mention that the B unit is also powered and also has sound too. So that is the same price as well. So if you want to get a nice ABA consist, as I said, I have multiple different road numbers, you can make that happen. And while you have those diesel engines, you can run it on various kits that we have here. We have a bunch of different ones here from Kato. For example, this one here is the electric turntable here. So you can put your engines on a turntable and roll around the roundhouse. This is a really neat kit that you can add here. Another Kato kit that we have here, this is the Unitrack plan set. And that is a really neat looking set there as well. What's neat about it is on the back, you see all the fun designs that you can make with that. These are really cool looking sets here, probably the Unitrack plan. Uh, I know a lot of people really love those Kato end scale tracks. Now the turntable here retails for $349.99, or we're selling it rather for $349.99. And my kit here right here is $219.99. So 
A lot of good prices to get on these diesel locomotives and on these kits so you can get your Enska Empire rolling in no time. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Get started today. All right, Engineer Hall, you wanted to find an engine in the middle? Yes, it's through the middle now. All right, well, we're going to look at a G gauge locomotive now. You excited? No, that, that, that's, that's way up top. All right, we're going to look at a Z gauge locomotive. That's too far. How about we just go to NS and see the real thing? You ready to go? All right, well, how about we just look at the HO engine? Is that going to make it better? Okay, a little All bit right. better. So we actually looked at some of these engines last time, but this is the next batch of them that we didn't have at the time, so now we're going to take a look at these. And these are from Scale Trains, the SD40-2. Check these out here. So I have a couple of different variations here. This is actually a patch job here, or rather a leasing engine that was formerly the ICG. Then I have a 1970s version of the Burlington Northern, and I have a repaint of the Santa Fe. Boy, the Burlington Northern and the Santa Fe, they, yeah, I think those railroads should merge. What do you think? They, and then they could, could have. And then they could paint it that color. Maybe. No. All right. Well, anyway, these are really neat diesel locomotives here. You know, I'm not going to spend a, a ton of time on these because we kind of covered these in the last show. But these are really some nice striking paint schemes here. I really like that Santa Fe, so I think we're going to run that on the rails so we can see the beacon go off and everything. So let's get started. We got that Santa Fe on the rails here. Let's check it out here. Now, as you can see, I have the beacon light pulsating there. And I do have this classification lights, which, as we talked about last time, can change from white to green to red where I can turn them off here. So let's get fired up. And here's another neat feature. If you could come over here, Engineer Hall. I didn't talk about this last time, but check this out there. You see what I got under there, Engineer Hall? Oh, you got the walkway lights. Yeah, we got walkway lights. If you want to run your engines in the dark, you can see where you're going. Oh, you got, you missed one. Okay, what happened? Oh, there's another one. What? That's pretty good. That's decent. Well, horn. Fire up. Uh, just like real life, right, Engineer Hall? Just like it. No, yeah, here we go. All aboard. Tant que tu peux faire tout, je te fasse la photo ici. La vidéo. I just love the sound of this engine here. It has a great horn, it has a great bell. I really enjoy this. Now, the retail value of this engine is $374.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. So it's a great deal to get on this diesel. And as I asked Christian to look up uh, diesel, he said a diesel is the largest type of battery used in commercial pro. He looked up D cell battery, didn't he? Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. This was a total bust. But come to Yankee Dabbler and get that engine because that won't be a bust. 
Let's do a recap of all the things we look at in today's show here. Starting off, we have here from Lina, we have these 44 tonners, and they are awesome looking engines here. And then speaking of awesome engines, we here we have another wave of these SD40-2s from Scale Trains. From Walters here, I had these articulated well cars here and a couple different variations. And then from Kato here, I had a couple of different kits here and a turntable. From Atlas, I have here these Alco diesel locomotives here. I have them at A's and B's. And then we also still have the ENH Railroad boxcar that we were selling for two hundred thousand dollars. Surprise! This is still here, folks. You got you got to buy the car. I know this so, is support the channel. This is quality tape that's holding this on right quality. there. Quality you can't get tape. It nowhere else. One Actually, of one. I think, I think I use painter's tape. Painter's tape. Yeah. Anyway, Doesn't so get this. Yeah, you're you gonna want it. this. The other stuff, whatever. But nah. you want this. You yeah. need it. You got to have it. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you're looking for something that we didn't showcase in today's show, then you always go to our website, yankeedabler.com. Type in our search bar there, and you're going to see what you you, uh, you want, so we can get it shipped to you and sent to you in no time. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest videos that we have here. We're very happy to be making videos again after our little break here. So stay tuned for all the new fun and excitement that we are going to be unleashing on the engineer hall show so much fun in the sun Woo. Woo. now this is the part of the show where i would usually show uh people's ideas for my new layout i asked frank to give me one here hey frank did you give me your layout idea no why not because i don't care oh all right so that was frank's idea um oh well you know what? We have here our Railfan video, but Engineer Hall is going to take this one away. Can you tell us about the Railfan video that you have for us? Sure. The Railfan video for us this week is uh, I was sitting here at a fill in the lock in for hours, right? And I happened to notice all this instruction equipment came down. Come to find out that it was replacing switches. And you see the teamwork of them bringing the switch panel out, send them to another crew. They took them up the hill, vice versa. You know, it was uh, pretty cool to see that sitting there for hours and went in. But here's my little, uh, you know, roll fan video of the week. Sweet. That should be a lot of fun to see. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Now, if you excuse me, i got to go find some sucker in our store to uh, buy this car here. So, hopefully I can find someone. Hey, Ken, i got a car for you to get everyone. Hey. It, it's really cheap. Hey, 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 hey. Um, what? Um, he, he's not the right buyer. Christian, i got a car for you. It's really cheap. Hey, what you got there, man? I got this box car. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. Oh, man, how did you charge you for it? DJ gave me a really good deal. He said all it costs is the cost of a cup of coffee every minute for the next 60 years. <gasps> that's only a couple, right? Yeah, that's a couple. That, that, you, made, you made a great purchase, and the owner of that car will deeply appreciate it. Yeah, I, I'm going to like it. Oh, this is a
that joint crazy, bro.
Alright, a 60 dub standing by.